Got him. Hey everyone, in today's episode, I'm going to take my winch right here on the front of my trailer that holds on my 1964 Alumacraft V-bottom boat, mine and my son's. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna replace that with uh, this guy right here. It is a heavy duty webbing, two inch winch strap. It's an endless loop. I picked this up at Clark Marine Sales in Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, those guys have just about everything, man. You should check them out. This rope right here, I mean, this rope will hold it. I just kind of want it to look better. This little piece is the original piece that came on it. I am probably going to do something with that because I don't want to get rid of it. Uh, I'll maybe make it like a safety chain or something somehow, some way. But I'll figure that out later. But let me get rolling. And we'll put this put this little heavy-duty webbing forged steel hook. <laughs> uh, it's 20 foot and it's um, made by Tough Guy. And it loads up to 2,000 pounds. I believe it's going to be all right with this 1964 V-bottom hole right here on the Alumacraft. All right, let's go. I'll keep this thing right here and do something with it. Okay, so I have it off and I took this screw out of the package. It has a little nylon lock nut on the end of it. I drilled a hole right through here. Come out the other side to put the Attach the nut. Let's do it on this side. And I'll tell you, I was off just a hair, so it's at a slight angle, which hopefully that doesn't mess me up real bad. My recommendation would be, so, so you guys don't make the mistake that I did, was is to, when you pr place this screw in, line it up first, maybe put a mark there, and then drill it. I just tried to eyeball it and I missed it by just just a smidge, but enough to kind of make it crooked, but hopefully it won't make, mess it up too bad. So let's take this guy out. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up, this nylon loop right here. I'm just gonna make it hand tight. Start rolling it just to give it a test. As you can tell, I'm holding it tight back here. All right, I'm right here to the end. Let's hook it around there. There it is. As tight as can be. It is tight as can be. Do not expose the strap to sharp edges. Let's get rid of that. So that was super simple. Now all I've got left to do is just tighten this bolt and that's it. I just wanted to make sure that it went on there correctly, and it does. I actually believe what I might do is because this little edge right here is exposed, I think I'll flip it upside down and rewind it the other direction. I'll show you guys the finished product on that. That way, this little edge just isn't exposed and, you know, getting bumped into. And that, maybe that'll extend the life of the strap. All right, I flipped it around. There we 
we go. We're in tight. Here we go, guys. Look at there. You know, like I said, this is probably overkill, but I tighten this screw down right here. You see where I put it through on the other side? Eventually, I'll probably just hit those with a little spray paint and make them black. This guy right here, it's tightened all the way down. It's got the boat cinched in. It's minus one degrees here in Tennessee right now, so I'm in the garage and I decided to come out here and put this two inch winch strap on my 1964 Lumacraft B bottom boat. Normally my son helps me, but uh, he was playing in the snow earlier and he said he's going to uh, take a nap. You can see, let me show you some of the snow. Yeah, I've got the garage door cracked. A little light in and it's kind of cold, but it's as easy as that. Like I said, I picked this up at Clark Marine Sales in Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, give those guys a shout. They got a lot of stuff over there. A lot of neat stuff that you might not find some other places. A lot of unique stuff. Especially if you're looking for something a little bit older. They might have something in stock somewhere down there. Or something in their treasure chest. I appreciate you watching the video today. Do me a favor, hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Got him.